Hi, Sarah Banis here, Spectrum Weavers. I'm going to show you today how to take and inlay color glitter HTV uh, to make a design like this where it is a weeded design that you can fill with color. Okay. A lot of people I'll say inlay and people will say, what is that? Inlay is a term that I've coined for this process. Uh, it's very similar to the old style of inlaying mother of pearl into wood or jewelry. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started here. The setting up the um, the inlay, we're going to do that in a program called Inkscape. Inkscape is a free open source design program. If you're on Windows 10, you can get it in the Microsoft Store. There's an app. Uh, again, it is free. The other place you can get it, the trusted download source is inkscape.org. So let's go ahead and hop over to Inkscape. Okay. When you first pull up Inkscape, it's going to be very small like this. To bring it up to size, press the plus button on your keyboard. Okay. The other thing when you first install Inkscape, all of your icons on the right hand side and the left hand side, all of these and all of these are all going to be very small, very easy to fix. Go to edit, preferences, Go to interface. That'll bring up this slide over. And these will all be set to smaller, smaller. Just click larger, 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 larger. No need to press save or anything like that. Just close it. And then close Inkscape and reopen it. And all of your icons will be the correct size. And they'll be the correct size every time you open and escape thereafter. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is you are going to click on over here in the left hand panel, click fill bound areas, okay, and then click a color down here at the bottom. I'm going to click yellow, okay, and then click on the inside of each one of these little spots in the roses, just the roses. Don't click on the black. If you click on the black, it'll uh, change all of that. So go ahead and do all of them. And although this does take a little bit of time, it's when you see the finished project, uh, when, once you cut and weed all of this and put it all together and press it, you're gonna be incredibly impressed As far as HTV goes, I don't know what you guys use. I use Caesar Glitter. It's amazing. Their black in particular is the most sparkly you can imagine. So then after you've filled all of your one color, go over here to your selector tool, top on the left hand panel. Okay, and then move this to the side. Okay, and then draw a box around all of this. Hover over the top of it, right click, click group. And that's your first set. Okay, now the next thing you'll do is again, click the fill and then click your next color. I'm gonna click an orange, oops. So when that happens, all you need to do is go to edit, undo, okay. So what I did wrong there is I did, you have to click your selector and click off. And now click on fill. Again, I'm going to choose orange and choose orange. And now I'm going to fill all of these little sections. Okay, now click your selector, move this over to the side, okay, and draw a box around it, hover over it, right click, group, 
move this down here. Okay, and then move this back over. Okay, and the next thing you need to do is click off of it. You want to make sure that's not selected when you click fill bound areas. Okay, and the next thing we'll do is a green. And we'll do all of our leaves. Now, when you go, so after you have cut and weeded all of this, you've cut and weeded uh, your main image, the black, and then you've cut and weeded each of your colors. After you've done that, what you'll do is you'll first press the black. Okay, so put that on whatever you're putting it on and press it. Uh, pull off your carrier sheet. And then you can drop any one of your colors in next. It doesn't In this design, it doesn't really matter what color you drop in next. So drop in one of your colors. And because you already have, oops. Because you already have that black outline there, your color will fall right into place. And you have to be a little bit careful that you have it lined up correctly. Um, and then obviously you'll lay your Teflon sheet over the whole design with your first color in and you'll press again and then take your Teflon sheet up, pull off your carrier sheet for your first color, lay in your next color, lay your Teflon sheet back over, press again. Okay. So, and then you'll remove your Teflon sheet again and lay each of the colors that way until you have them all. And then once you have them all, lay your Teflon sheet over the whole thing and do a full press so that you get, uh, you know, a full press on your whole design. Okay, so we have all of our green filled in. So now we will move this to the side again and select all of this. Right click, group. Oops, there are leaves. I'm just going to leave that there because this final part. So again, clicked off of it. Click your fill. I will select this color. This aqua. One, two, three. Click your selector tool. Move this to the side. And now select. Hover. Right click. Group. Okay, so now that is all of your inlay pieces. Okay, so let me just go ahead and show you how those will all lay into place. So sometimes, I don't know if you saw that, when I'm when you're trying to move things around in Inkscape, sometimes they like snap to where they, like snap to grid. If that becomes an issue and you're trying to move something like this, use your uh, arrow keys on your keyboard and that will work better. So drop it kind of around. Well, that one fell right where it was supposed to go. So. And then this last one. And that is exactly how you want that. Okay. So now to get this over to design space, this is what you need to do. Delete. Get rid of this. Now, also, um, Subscribe now. If you subscribe, you're going to see all of my videos as I bring them out. Um, I'm going to be releasing a lot of videos over the next probably couple of months here. So if you subscribe, you'll see them as soon as they come out. So get rid of this. And then I will. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this text here. Since. So, and then I'll get rid of this. Okay. And then you'll go to File. And then you'll go to Save As. Okay. And then I'm going to save this as uh, So 10. Drop it down to Plain SVG. Save, hop back over to, oops, that's Corel Draw. That's not what you want. Uh, hop back over to Design Space. 
And I'm going to get rid of this. And then obviously you guys already know, I can imagine that you already know how to import on Design Space. Go to Upload, Upload Image, Browse. And I named this one So 10. Open. There's your design. Go to save. And everything that I used here, I will link in the description. Um, that font that I used, I just bought that. So select and then insert. I just bought that font like just recently and it is just, it's a great font. Um, I just bought it like 45 minutes ago and I'm kind of loving it. I'll link this right here is what I'm talking about. All this, uh, all this, and I sew too. Um, and okay, I'll show you in a second. That just imported this a little bit to the side. That's fine. I'll show you that in a second. Um, so I'll link this font in the description, and I'll link this uh, design in the description. That is a fantastic design. Give me just one second here. So if you select this and then go to uh, ungroup, okay. It takes a second. Design space is a little slow. And then this right here. Oops. I don't know why that. Oops. I don't know why that imported over there, but that's no problem. So I'm going to take this all together. Anytime you resize it, you'll want to resize it all together so that everything still fits. Okay. And design space is so glitchy sometimes. I hate it. Okay. So you can see there, move this down here, and you can see there that you have each of your pieces. So this is one. Now, just to avoid any issues when you go to um, when you go to cut this, because it can cause you problems uh, in Design Space. Select all of those and click Weld, so that it's one piece. Now that's one layer, and that'll all cut exactly how you have it set up. Okay, and then you can move all of these over and again, click weld. And then I'll make that one layer, okay? And then you can move this over here and you can click weld. And then click weld and that's it. So now you have four things that you're gonna cut. You're gonna cut your black. You're going to cut your green, your blue, your yellow, your orange, okay? And then, again, you'll lay your black first, press that, and then lay each of your colors and press those. Um, that's about it. If you have any questions at all, uh, please feel free to ask them. I'll link everything in the description. Uh, also, join me on Facebook. Uh, I'll link the Facebook group in the description, too. It's actually uh, a group where I make designs and add them fairly regularly a couple of week, um, or I try to do a couple of week at least, and I, I add them for people to use. And that's it. Have a good day.